Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through branch coverage testing. So basically, this concept belongs to white box testing, guys. So I think everyone remembers the concept of white box testing, right? Yes. So in which the internal logic is known to us. So basically, we know the exact code, how it works and everything, right? Yes. Okay. So your question will be, okay, so what is this branch coverage testing? So basically, whenever there is a program, okay so commonly if it is a normal program it will for sure have if if else uh, loops right or blocks right yes so in that situation there is a chance that the checking conditions might be too familiar that okay so just let me restart it okay so basically whenever you are giving some input okay so once it might go into this if condition once it if it might go to this else if and other time it might go to this else right yes so there are three conditions okay so in this way whenever we are having multiple if conditions or loops and everywhere so based on the input the thing acting will change right yes so that is the reason why here in branch coverage technique we give all combinations guys so basically assume if field count is greater than 7 then increment it right so now i'll be giving first time i'll be giving greater than 7 something greater than 7 okay yes so that is 9 i gave so similarly the second time i will not give greater than 7 means it is less than 7 okay and the second condition is greater than 3 so i'll be giving that in between 3 and 7 okay so let us assume i gave 5 and the last time it is else right so anything other than less than 3 so basically if i give less than 3 right yes so if i give 1 so basically here all the conditions have been satisfied right so once you entered into this once you entered into this once you entered into this so these are the all three com possible combinations so these are all the branches guys got it yes so you can just go through the theory once okay so that's what exactly it is written here okay yes and the same example which i have explained is written here okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right yes so in the next lecture i think bottom up testing is done okay so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about cause effect graphing okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching